Welcome to Expo 2020! But, not yet! Patikim pa lang po ito ng upcoming Expo 2020 this coming October. So, some fun facts about this Expo 2020. Um, over 190 countries will be participating in this event. And they will share their culture, collaborations, and innovations. What else? This is the first time that the World Expo is being held in the Middle East, Africa, and South Asia. And what's more, this will be a six months event, which means you have a lot of time to experience Expo 2020 this upcoming October. And what more is they have three, that long pavilion sila. So they have the mobility, the opportunity, and what we are going to visit today is the Sustainability Pavilion. This is meeting human and nature all together. So, let's go! Entering this iconic gate of the 2020. Look at that. Welcome to Terra, the sustainability pavilion in the Expo 2020. Let's go and explore. This is the first main opening that is the Expo 2020. So this is meeting new people and nature all together. So let's go and explore the sustainability pavilion. Water under the trees. on balance, boundaries, change, and values. So let's check it out. <laughs>
how trees communicate with nature. Medyo ano siya, um, makikita mo yung present and then they are also uh, telling you like uh, ano ba yung nangyayari pag I mean, yun, talagang sobrang inanong yung nature um, sobrang na ano siya na abuse ang nature so and then what are you going to do in the future so now that's how, what the forest is and we're moving forward to the underwater world hungry let's go eat at the terra from farm to your table this is not just a place for you to like explore it uh, but there is also a place for dining and, uh, a lot of restaurants like a uh, food truck um, here with different types of cuisine all over the world. They have Lebanese, they have American with burgers, they have uh, for vegetarians as well. So, you see, there is a live band here to keep everyone entertained, which is really awesome. So nice. And it matches the cold weather. It's just nice. I'm enjoying myself actually. So so nice. Yummy food. We are at the Tierra Gardens. So you see this? These are the trees here, which is literally these are just structural thing, but this is actually solar panels. There are 18 of them. That actually collect uh, that actually collects solar powers, and they, what's unique about this? They follow the path of the sun. So where the sun is, that's where they are facing. Interesting, huh? This is the giant canopy, which has 1,055 solar panels, which means that the solar panel na yon can generate up to 4 gigawatt hour per year. 
10, which means it can charge 900,000 mobile phones per year. Oh, diba? Ang daming mobile na na pwede i-charge. Just awesome! So, fun fact, um, this building has net zero energy and net zero water. What does that mean? Ibig sabihin, lahat ng energy consumption here are being um, get from the sun. So, through the solar panel. Yung na-mention na ko kanina, yung mga trees ato nagawa sa solar panels. And also, the giant canopy. Kumukuha rin siya ng energy from the sun. Not only that. So, itong giant canopy na rin to, kumukuha rin siya water from the, from the air and also water from the rain. So, lahat ng water, ni-scoop niya and then going under, which is being treated. Not only that, kaya nasabi ko na zero water din siya, net zero water din siya, is yung lahat ng water dito, they do a grayscaling recycling. Which means lahat na mga ginagamit ng water inside, they recycle yun to uh, water all the landscapes here, which saves them 70% of water consumption. Isn't that awesome? Sobra awesome. I think, you know, um, visiting this place, uh, I think lahat na in the future building, uh, builders, the mall buildings, they should do the same. Because as you, uh, uh, can you imagine in the future, you're building a building which is net zero energy and net zero water, which helps our nature 100%, which is really like a big check for me. Sa mga magbibisit dito in the like in the next few days, um, kasi open ito from January 22 until April 10. So, uh, since kami yung mga first time na napumunta dito, um, we had experienced something. So, in, 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 pag may ticket kayo, na, the tickets are being sold per hour. So, which means if you are coming in at 4, dapat within an hour, when you get in, make the best out of your ticket. Kasi pag lumampas na yung hour mo from 5, 4 to 5, hindi ka na pwede pumasok ulit. Which means you only have one entry pag, pag natapos mo na yung one hour mo. Pero pag hindi pa naman siya tapos, you can go back. Kasi ang nangyari sa akin, hindi ko na nabisit yung ibang mga, yung isa, yung ocean at saka yung earth wonders. Kasi nga, yung ticket ko nag-lapse na. Kasi sobrang nag-enjoy ako dun sa forest. So, I think sa mga future na pumunta, talagang dapat, huwag kayong mag-stay ng matagal sa isang area. Dapat you have to, um, uh, experience as quick as you can and absorb everything as as you can um, within the, the time limit that you have for the ticket para talaga mano mo. Unless, pag hindi mo ginawa yun, you need to purchase another ticket for another time uh, para makapasok ka lang and ma-experience mo yung mga ibang attractions nila inside. Okay? So, take that as a note. <laughs> Pasensya na ka po, hindi ko na kayo mapupun, madadala sa forest at saka sa Earth Wonders. Kasi um, I have tried to purchase a ticket pero wala nang available na ticket for, for those. So I'm ending this video now. Thank you for coming with me exploring the first pavilion that was open for the Expo Dubai 2020. So thank you all and always keep safe and God bless. Bye!